to the pilot episode of What's the Matter? Today, we will learn and talk about the metric sequence. You want to learn math? <laughs> Let's go find some people! Look, I see someone there. Let's go ask her a question. Hi! Do you know anything about the metric sequence? Oh no! Over there's a math teacher. Let's go ask him. Hello, sir. Do you know the metric sequence? No. Sir, you're a math teacher. No. There's a class going on right now. Come on, let's go ask the teacher if she knows what geometric sequence is. It's okay. Let's go to Miss. Geometric sequence is. You, come here. Hi. Do you know what geometric sequence is? You know. Can you tell us what the formula is? A sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Now that you know what geometric sequence is, I will teach you how to solve one. My co vloggers and I prepared some problems for us to solve. Let's go. All right, so here we have, wait a minute, it's getting hard. Someone hold this camera for me. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now we know the formula. We have given you an example for 24, 144, 864. So first we have to find the ratio. To find the ratio, we are going to use this formula, an over an minus 1. So, so now that we have found our ratio, we are going to look for the nth term. So, we are going to use the formula given. which is 6,780,464. Okay, so let's now find out if you got the answer. So our problem is, Liza is a very beautiful girl. Last May, she had 64 suitors. On July, she had 256. How many suitors did she have last January? So, this is how we solve it. And then we will get 4 equals r raised to 2. And then we will cancel out the square with a, a square and we will get 2 equals r. So to get the first term, we're going to plug in everything that we have solved for, which is 64 equals a sub 1, quantity 2 raised to 4. And we will get 16. And we will divide 16 to both sides. Here we will cancel and we will get 4. So a sub 1 equals to 4. That's all folks. See you next time on the next episode of What's the Matter?